Hey everybody, uh, another video for you today. Uh, due to popular demand of my Olympus XA2 video, I brought back my good friend Adam. Come on over. Hey guys. Oh man, Victor, thanks again for having me. Uh, I just had so much fun with that Olympus video. I thought, you know what? Let's give the subscribers something they've been waiting for. Yes, and uh, we got some really nice cameras today. Well, today I brought a camera that's very close to my heart. Uh, it used to be my dad's camera. Um, it is the Canon AE-1. Right, so let's let's chill out some quick facts. All right, fact number one: this camera was manufactured in Japan from '76 to '84. Pretty cool. The first SLR with a microchip in it that paved the way for modern day cameras. Uh, at the time, it was one of the most successful SLRs available. Uh, sold over a million units. Uh, Victor, what do you want to say about it? Yeah, like uh, for me, one of the big quirks about this Canon camera is, uh, is the lens mount. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it because Canon has this, uh, it's called the Canon FD lens mount. And uh, it's really weird. It, they have a section on the lens that you turn to lock it into the camera instead of having the whole barrel rotate. But uh, later they changed it so the whole barrel rotated because people were saying it was really slow. But because of this, uh, all the older lenses won't work with uh, future uh, cameras, which is kind of kind of sucks. Well, big time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oof, look, what else we got? Uh, battery powered. Mm -hmm. So you got one button cell battery down here. Uh, another battery, a larger battery, kind of in the middle here, controlled the microprocessor. Uh, it's manual focusing, uh, awesome. Uh, it supports manual exposure or automatic shutter priority, so your, your aperture is either going to be automatic or you have to choose yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and going into that automatic stuff, I also brought another camera. This is kind of its, uh, its younger brother, its successor. successor uh, yeah. It's the AE-1 program. Mm -hmm. So same camera, the only difference is more... Um, automatic features. Automatic features. You can see it says program on it in green, so mm -hmm. it's very high-tech and cool came out in 81, um, not only did you have automatic aperture, but you also had uh, automatic shutter speed. So you could actually just go out, take a picture, it would do it all for yourself. Yes. Um, yeah. That's why I, was, uh, I think this, Canyon knew that the market wanted automatic cameras. Yeah. Uh, they started getting away from all the manual stuff. People want the camera to think for them. Yeah, people, people aren't smart. <laughs> Um, I certainly know, well, I'm smart, but <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, but people wanted, uh, you know, more more automatic features. Yeah, automatic aperture, automatic shutter, yeah. and uh, yeah, just point the camera, you shoot it, yeah. and it's going to give you uh, pictures that are pretty good. Pretty good pictures. So, With, uh, so this AE-1 is my personal one. Um, this AE-1 program I found online. They're super cheap these days, probably because of the, the lens mounts, because they're just... They're incompatible. They won't fit anything. Uh, well, Victor, what do you say? We take these cameras, we go on a little adventure. Yes. Let's, uh, let's shoot some stuff. Yeah, what better way to test these beautiful cameras out than to, you know, walk around and you know, take some snapshots. See how it feels in the hand, how it runs and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. You want to see how it, how it, just, you know, how it feels. Oh, this, this is not good. <laughs> the reason why it's squealing is, I think Canon, they, just, they were just mass manufacturing these things. And uh, they were just finding ways to kind of cut costs. So a result of that is just the quality of materials weren't, weren't high up there. Yeah, I know Nikon was kind of a leader in quality at the time. But yes. uh, Canon was trying to get in. You know, trying to undercut. Undercut, get a cheaper camera, get, get it into people's hands. And it's in our hands right now. Yeah. So it worked. Success. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> but you're gonna get a camera that's gonna squeal sometimes. Yeah. All right, let's head out. Let's go. Well, in your hands, it feels like a very solid camera. Canon's done a very good job at making all of this plastic actually feel like metal. Cool thing is, the bottom, the top, is actually plastic. It feels like metal. What they've done, they've coated it in copper and then they coated it in a nickel finish. So it, it, it really feels like, like metal. Uh, and yeah, it feels very solid, very sturdy. Take a shot. Yeah, the battery uh, case right here is a nice, a nice grip for your hand. They've done a killer job there. Um, yeah, so to Canon of the past, uh, way to go.